guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, um, Engineer Cinco from CLMP. Um, last time, guys, we studied uh, regarding um, PreSIM. But uh, today's topic, uh, I am discussing to you uh, related to uh, another geometry. We call it pyramid. Okay, as we all know, pyramid is a polyhedron of which one face is called a base. Okay, so one face for our uh, pyramid is we call this a base. So this is the base. Okay, and uh, is also a polygon of any number sides and the other pieces are triangles have a common vertex so these are the triangle pieces of a pyramid okay this one another uh, triangle pieces another triangle pieces of a pyramid having a common point we call it the vertex okay vertex point this one and between the between the two uh, lateral faces, the, inter the intersection point or the intersection edge is we call it a uh, lateral edge okay? for the pyramid. And of course, the vertical height between the base to the vertex point, we call it a uh, altitude. Okay? Altitude. Now, our objective here is to study on how to solve the volume and the uh, lateral surface of a pyramid okay so what is the equation for the volume guys for this particular pyramid by the way i am considering a regular pyramid guys huh? so the volume okay volume of pyramid is equal to okay one third Times area of the base okay, times the vertical height okay, guys so what area of the base this one we are considering times the altitude or the product between the area of the base times the vertical height divided by three okay and the second um, objective what we want to know is on how to solve the surface area or the lateral area of a pyramid so lateral area of a pyramid is equal to one half okay one half times the product of perimeter of the base times the slant height okay by the way guys this is the perimeter of the base okay having sides length is s or the sides and the l is the slant height or the lateral length as we all know considering this uh, one face triangle okay if this is the sides s okay, this is the L. L. We call this as L or the slant height. Okay. If you are considering these sides okay, like this, this one is the slant height. The slant height of one face. Okay. L. And this is the altitude. Okay, vertical uh, height or the altitude of a regular pyramid and this one is the base okay? the base which is one half one half of side okay? it's equal to one half of s meaning here yeah, this one so to to show Clearly, regarding these uh, parameters, okay, I will write uh, properly the equation for the volume of the lateral surface, guys, okay? okay? Volume of a pyramid is equal to one-third times area of the base, okay? 
times the vertical height. Okay. Second one is the lateral area or so lateral surface area of a pyramid is equal to half times the product of perimeter times the slant height. Okay. So this is the two equation we need to remember guys okay. on how to solve the volume of a pyramid and at the same time on how to compute the lateral surface area of all the faces of a pyramid. And if you want to solve also the whole area, then you need to include the base, the base area of a pyramid apart from the lateral faces of a regular pyramid. Okay? So you need to add only the base area, guys, in order to solve the whole area. Okay? Now, to understand further, I am uh, giving you some example word problem. Um, related to this um, regular pyramid. To proceed, uh, I have here a first problem uh, related for a regular pyramid. Okay, as you can see here, guys, it states that the bottom of a regular pyramid is a square base type. Okay, of, of side 50 centimeter and 100 centimeter vertical height. Okay, determine a the lateral surface area of a pyramid second one is uh, the whole surface area meaning to say apart from lateral surface we need to include the area of the base in order to find the whole surface area as i mentioned earlier okay and the third requirement is find the volume of the pyramid okay so solution guys Solving for lateral surface area. Okay. A sub L. So, what is the equation, guys, or formula for the lateral surface area of a regular pyramid? Uh, it's a Okay. Lateral surface area is equal to 1 half times the product of perimeter of the base times the slant height okay. from the lateral surface okay. slant height. Okay. Take note guys, the base is given, the length of each side for the base is given which is 50 cm. Okay, so now we can compute for the perimeter for this uh, equation perimeter because we we have already dimension for the side which is 50 centimeter, but we don't have the slant height. 100 cm is not a slant height, guys. Huh? It's a vertical. It's clearly clearly mentioned here. It's a vertical height. So we cannot use this 100 centimeter for the slant height. Now, how you will find the slant height of a uh, regular pyramid considering a triangle okay we can apply using the Pythagorean theorem okay guys so considering a triangle for the pyramid How much the length of the side given there is 50 centimeter, correct? Yeah, 50 cm. And the vertical height is given which is 100. <coughs> 100. Okay. Now, how you will find the slant height of this one, of uh, one face of a pyramid? So, as I mentioned, by applying or by using the Pythagorean theorem, okay, we have to split this one. Here, okay? So, 
So one half. So how much this is the length of the of the base or the this side? One half of fifty centimeter. Correct. Because we are considering so one half of this triangle. This one. Okay. We need, we are considering this one, guys. Okay. In order to find the slant height, since it is a right triangle. Now one half of fifty is equal to twenty five. Okay. And the height is 100. Okay, so this is now the requirement. Okay. So using Pythagorean theorem, okay. L squared. equal to a a squared plus b squared okay so l squared is equal to altitude how much is 100 okay. squared plus the base is 25 okay so l squared is equal to well, how much is this guys 100 squared into power 2 or 100 squared how much would be? 100 into squared is equal to 10,000. Okay. Plus 25 into squared, 625. Okay, guys, I hope you followed uh, our solution here. Okay. So L squared is equal to the sum of these two values plus 10,000. So, 10,625. Well, how you will solve for the length? This time, you can apply the radical, okay? In order to eliminate the exponent. So, the square root, and then, will be L will be, slant height will be, square root of 10,000. Square root of 10,600, is equal to 103.08. 103.08 What's the unit guys? We are using centimeter okay? So this is the Length of the slant height 103.08 centimeter Now therefore We can substitute the value now For the slant height for this In this uh, equation including the perimeter of the base because the side is given so therefore lateral surface area is equal to one half how much uh, perimeter of the base take note guys the base is in terms of square so how much the side 50 centimeters so 50 times 50 okay sorry guys it should be times four huh because it's a perimeter there are four sides in a square okay so 50 times four okay this is a perimeter the length of the side is 50 centimeters times 4 sides, this one, okay? And then how much the slant height as we computed just now, which is equal to 103. Okay? Point zero eight. Okay, guys, just simply substitute. Now, to simplify this uh, expression, you need to calculate, okay? 50 times 4 equals times 103.08 equals divided by 2 so the lateral surface area of regular pyramid for this particular problem is equal to 10,000 okay, 308 okay, 10,308 uh, square centimeter okay since the unit that we are using is in terms of centimeter. So this is the lateral surface area. 
of this uh, pyramid. Okay? Now, the second requirement is find the whole surface area. Meaning to say, apart from lateral, we need to include the base area in order to find the whole surface area of a pyramid. Okay? So, B. Here. Okay. Solving for Solving for the whole area, whole area of a pyramid, okay, W, A, W, okay, whole area means A, W, is equal to summation of lateral surface, A sub L, plus area of the base, okay, area of the base of a regular pyramid having a square base type, okay, this one. Area of the base. Okay. So, how much the lateral surface? Just simply substitute. It's a 10,308 plus. What is the area of the base, guys? Take note, it's a square. Okay. So, just simply into 50 or into a square. So, whole area. So, for how much, guys? 50 squared to 5 plus 10,308 so there will be 12,808 square centimeter this is the whole area of a pyramid you need to add the area of the base up from the lateral surface. Okay. Now, last part, uh, the third one, guys. That, uh, last requirement is the volume. Okay. You write here, volume. Okay. So, what is the equation for the volume, guys? Volume is equal to, as we studied earlier, so one third times area of the base times the which one? The slant height or the vertical height? Vertical height, okay? So, take note, guys, not the slant height, huh? it should be a vertical height, okay? In order to find the volume of the pyramid. So, one third. Okay. How much the area of the base? This one. Since the side, the emission is 50 centimeter. Okay. So, 50 times 50 is the area of the base for a square. Okay. Times the vertical height, which is given. How much? 100 centimeter. Okay. So, 100. So, volume, guys, is equal to how much? Let me calculate. Okay. 50 times 50. 50 times 50. Okay. 2 point times 100. Equals divided by 3. Okay, guys. So, there are 83,333. Cubic centimeter. Okay. Cubic centimeter. So this is the final answer for the volume of a pyramid. One minute uh, later. I have another example or problem number two uh, related for a regular pyramid. Okay. To understand further. So as you can see guys in the board, uh, problem states that a 20 liters water container is an in inverted type regular pyramid you guys so this is a water container okay it's an inverted type uh, pyramid okay with a square base of side 12 inches so this one is 12 inches okay
and this one is the okay, vertical height. So we are considering a regular pyramid but in inverted, okay? So the base will be on the top and the vertex is will be at the bottom. So it's an inverted type uh, water container. Okay. So the given in this problem is 20 liters. What do you mean by 20 liters, guys? It's a volume, huh? It represents a volume of water that can accommodate inside the inverted pyramid in terms of liters. Uh, okay. So the requirement for this particular problem is calculate the vertical height. Okay. Second one is the find the slant height and then the lateral surface area and the last one is find the whole surface area of an inverted pyramid okay knowing the volume of the water which is 20 liters and the length of the side which is 12 inches okay guys so solution okay. a solving for Okay. Solving for the vertical height okay. or altitude. So how you will solve the vertical height or altitude of a pyramid, guys? As we all know, that the volume of a pyramid, okay, volume of a pyramid is equal to one third okay, times the product of area of the base times the vertical height, okay, this one. So, take a look in the equation, guys, and uh, also in the problem. The volume is, also, is already given, okay, in terms of liters. Now, we need to convert liters into cubic inches because our um, length of the base is in terms of inches so we are now using inches guys unit for this problem okay in order to have a consistent values so 20 liters okay by the way guys how many cubic inches in one liter it's a conversion, okay? So take note, there are 61.02 cubic inches, huh? In every one liter, in every liter of water or one liter of water, there will be 61.02 cubic inches as an equivalent or a conversion or liters into cubic inches. 61.02. Remember this conversion, guys. Okay, take note. So substitute the uh, volume, which is 20 liters. Okay, 20 liters or li. Let me write li as a uh, liters. Okay, times 61.02. Okay, cubic inches per liter. Okay. per 1 liter or per liter okay. per 1 liter okay. you are substituting the value of uh, volume case in this equation okay. and then equate equate this volume into the equation which is equal to 1 third times how much the area of the base guys say it's a square base okay so the length of the side is in uh, equal to 12 inches 12 inches so area will be 12 inches times 12 inches times the vertical height which is unknown okay this is the area of the base 12 by 12 12 inches times 12 inches so to simplify it further guys the expression cancel later okay? take note huh? cancel later okay? 
then the remaining will be in terms of cubic inches. So let me calculate. 20 liters times 61.02 cubic inches per liter. So there will be 1,220.4 cubic inches. Okay. Equate this one, this equation, guys. So how much is? One third times twelve times twelve. Okay. Twelve inches times twelve inches. This is area of the base because uh, uh, it's a square type. Okay, square. So it's a one hundred forty-four okay. times the vertical height. Now to simplify further, uh, copy this one thousand two hundred twenty. Okay. 0.4 times 3 times 3 is equal to 144 over its ah, times its okay so over 144 okay guys you followed over 144 <coughs> cancel excuse me therefore the vertical height of an inverted pyramid water container is equal to how much guys? 1220.4 times 3 yeah, was divided by 144 so there are 25.425 inches 25.4 inches okay. the vertical or the altitude of the inverted pyramid okay from the base up to the vertex point okay so that is the uh, altitude or vertical height of the inverted for the first requirement okay now second requirement guys is we need to find the slant height okay. slant height okay B. We write somewhere here. Okay. B. Solving for slant height. Okay. L. Slant height. See. So, how you'll find the slant height, guys? For the inverted uh, regular pyramid. Okay. Now, considering the one face, one face of a pyramid. Okay. Let me draw, guys. As we all know, we have already calculated the edge, which is the vertical height, okay? And this one is our requirement, okay? slant height. But take note, guys, we are considering half of the, one half of the lateral face of a triangle or of a pyramid, one face, okay? One half of the face. So this is 90 degrees, right triangle. So what is the length of the side? 12 inches. So divided by two, it will be six. Okay. Six inches. Six inches. Eight is already here. Okay. Eight is all uh, height or altitude is equal to this. Okay. Now, by using the Pythagorean theorem, okay. L squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Okay. So L squared, guys, E is the vertical height or the altitude. So it will be come to H squared, H plus the base. 
squared. Okay, so L squared substitute guys the height. How much is the height? Vertical height. Twenty-five point four two five. Okay, squared plus base is six inches. Okay. Six squared. Okay. So to simplify further this expression, L squared. Okay guys, how much is this one? Squared fifty five point four two five squared. So six hundred forty six. Okay. Point forty three. Plus this one, guys. Six squared is equal to thirty six. Okay. So L squared is equal to six four six point forty three plus thirty six. It's equal to six hundred eighty two. Okay. Six hundred. Eighty-two point forty-three. So applying the uh, radical sign square root. Okay. And same. So L slant height will be how much, guys? Square root of six hundred eighty-two point forty-three. So the slant height is equal equal to twenty-six point twelve. What's the unit, guys? Inches, okay? Inches. So this is the value for the slant height, okay? For the second requirement, twenty-six point twelve inches. Okay, guys. I hope you followed our uh, solution on how to solve the slant height and the vertical height of an inverted pyramid. Okay. So third requirement is the lateral surface area. Lateral surface area of a pyramid. So let me write here, guys. See. Solving for lateral surface. Lateral surface. So as we studied earlier, the lateral surface area of a pyramid is equal to how much? What's the equation, guys? Okay, one half product of the perimeter and the which one? Vertical height or slant height, guys? Slant height, okay? Because we are talking about lateral, so the lateral height or slant height. Okay. Now substitute all the values, guys. Okay. So one half. What is the perimeter of the base? Yeah. Because guys, the dimension of the side of a square base is twelve inches, so it will be the perimeter of a square, knowing the length of twelve inches for one side. Will be four times, okay? So perimeter will be twelve inches times four, okay? Times slant height, which is this one, okay? We have already computed. Twenty-six point twelve inches, okay? So lateral surface area is equal to again. Let me use the calculator, guys. Okay. Twelve inches, okay, times four sides. One, two, three, four, because it's a square base. Okay, twelve inches times four, okay, so the forty-eight times times twenty-six times twenty-six point twelve. Okay, divided by two, because it's a one half. So lateral area will be also six hundred 
okay? Square inches, okay? Because it's an area, so this is the answer, guys, for the third department lateral surface area. Okay? Now, the last part is the the entire surface area of an inverted pyramid, including the base, okay? apart from the lateral. So, D will be okay? solving for whole area. Uh, whole area or A sub W is called the, the summation of lateral surface area plus the area of the base. Okay? So, substitute guys. How much the lateral? 626.88 plus area of the base. How much? This one guys. 12 inches times 12 inches. Okay? So, 12 inches times 12 inches, okay? So, what is the area, whole area? How much? Okay. So, 12 times 12, 144 plus 626, 626.88. So, there are 770 0.88 square inches. Okay. 770.88 square inches. Whole area, total area of an inverted pyramid. 770.88 square inches. Okay guys, so I hope you understand our example, second example related for this um, pyramid. So, kindly like, share, and uh, subscribe our channel, okay, so that uh, you will be notified for our uh, some incoming videos or some uh, solid measuration geometry, okay, apart from pyramid. So, I hope that it will be helpful to those students who are studying uh, high school or college students, okay or studying engineering uh, courses. So again guys, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.